Hello and welcome. So in this video we are going to do our lab 36 that is securing a Wi-Fi hotspot. Now if you want to follow along in your machine here are the instructions. and rest of them here. Probably you cannot follow your this on your machine. You'll have to be logging into your actual router. That home router, it should be pretty much the same uh, unless you have deployed a router uh, in AWS like in cloud. Oh wow, it looks beautiful if you turn off the uh, night light. I like it on. But let's get back and start. Alright, so these are the instructions for, like I said, uh, either log into your router, look through there, or uh, deploy a router in AWS, however you want to go. For this, it wants us to launch Google Chrome and go to the Linksys uh, address. Now this is funny because uh, normally it's 192.168.168 something like that. So it's not copying it. God. Okay. Is nope. Copy paste is disabled. HTTP. So user interface dot linksys dot com. WRT three twenty N. I'm in one point zero point zero zero. Alright, press enter. Press enter. Still not found. Interesting. That is why I hate you certify. And maybe that the poor feedback was the reason that uh, WGU got rid of them. Okay, we are in. So Linksys, uh, this is your interface. Uh, it, it's gonna be exactly the same if you have a, a Linksys router. I do have, uh, and my, not like ditto, but pretty much same. So what's required is, oh, WAP. So th that's another thing when I was talking about U certify being outdated. Nobody use WAP. It's so outdated, like now, probably you haven't heard, but WPA3 is out. And it, if uh, it was barely mentioned in uh, A+, uh, 1000, but it's definitely going to be in 1100. Uh, so, you can, <laughs> they, they, they're helping you uh, configure WAP uh, that's uh, I mean I'm speechless all right so just for the sake of credit let's go with it when I click wireless where it is right there manual Wi-Fi protected setup so WPS is basically you press this button press on your device without the need of username password they authenticate with each other and uh, the bad thing is it's four uh, normally it's just four uh, code digits but they implemented it eight 
thinking that it will be secure it will be more powerful but the thing is their implementation was again wrong they implemented it in two octets like four and four so uh, what happened is that it's easily breakable so if you are using this do not think that you're secure Wi-Fi protected setup I'm guessing we're gonna go manual configure basic wireless setting click manual and there you have it I use SSID broadcast save network mode so BGN pretty old so network name we're gonna I'm gonna just go by default so for the security mode I don't see security mode here oh they want it disabled so with disabled basically you cannot see it uh, when you open up your phone mobile uh, laptop tablet whatever you'll have to type the name exactly as it is because it, the signals are there it's just not broadcasting the name now next thing is wireless security it says disable and here it is uh, they, they want you to go with WPA right or web please don't say web oh WPA too okay now they are going enterprise okay that is something okay I shouldn't have had bashed U certify they are talking about WPA2 so for some reason I saw WPA here wrap all right my bad <laughs> I shouldn't have okay uh, so WPA2 enterprise is uh, better than personal so personal it's like you can use the uh, shareable where you're sharing with everybody enterprises basically works with the radius servers and what happens is that it grants you internet or Wi-Fi access based on your individual username password so it integrates uh, SSO so encryption they want it AES okay radius server is 192.168.1.12 and port is 18.12 the shared secret now shared secret is for the time being I'm saying it's for the initial connection because with radius what happens is the value is 600 to 7200 yeah great there goes the lab but hey <laughs> I did it my machine was on so I'm on for let's see if my settings are still in there for manual security disable I go with WPA to enterprise nope 192 168 112 radius port is 1812 shared secret was password and should I press save okay let's leave it like this and advance go to advance
No, they do say it. All right, so. Wireless Mac filter right here <clears throat> and enable. I'm guessing. Oh, it's done. based on the tensor your that is the record my answer So what this part is talking about, it's uh, talking about uh, uh, that uh, uh, whitelist or blacklist. All right, so again, not so fun lab. I'm going to wrap this video here. I hope this video has helped you. Uh, if it has, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next one.